about that. We have been talking a little bit about hard work, and that's an interesting concept in your generation, for your age, hard work, the concept of hard work, because you have to admit that life is easy for you guys. You don't have to, well, I don't know if any of you do, but I don't think any of you walk to school. And even if you do, you probably don't walk far. Um, I know that in the teachers' generations, the generations before you, some people had to walk to school. Um, and it wasn't a short walk. Also for studying, some people grew up without the internet. When I was in school, when I was in um, middle school, your age there was internet but when I was in elementary school internet wasn't a big deal so everything in your generation is a lot quicker and a lot easier there are benefits to that but there are also disadvantages the benefits obviously are that your life is a lot easier everything's faster everything is quite instant but then the negative aspect of that is kind of what Azam and Fatan were talking about, your ability to very easily give up. And this is giving up on everything. This is giving up on being able to do something. This is also giving up on being a good person, as Pachepi was saying, how to be a good person in life. There are lots of temptations around you. There are lots of external factors that can tempt you to do bad things. And sometimes staying on the right track is a hard thing. So I agree with the little speech that Azam and Patan were talking about before, that it depends on your character, who you are as a human being. They mentioned that you have to be what? Confident? Self-confidence? And what was the other one? Not giving up, yeah? Loyalty or... Um, steadfastness to your dreams that you don't give up so easily and one thing that I'd like to add to there one is patience patience is key patience is a virtue Allah loves those who are patient we have that word in our heads all through our lives be patient be patient be patient Allah is with those who are patient and why is that why is that word such a big word in the whole concept of being a good person or the whole concept of hard work? Patience is a very, very, very big word. And it's a big word because that's what you need, guys. Nothing is instant. Hard work is not instant. Um, being a blessing to your parents, that's not instant as well. It takes work to be a good person. It takes work to be useful. It takes work to be successful. Your teacher before was talking about prestasi and how you can make your parents proud with prestasi every week that we have it here. That's not instant either. It's not gonna just happen like that in one day, in one minute. Patience is key. So learn the art of patience, the art of determination. When you have self-confidence and you know you can achieve something, you know you're a good person, you know you're able to do good things, but you don't have patience, you're not gonna get anywhere either. Remember that things take time. The day has time in the day. We wake up in the morning, you can't hurry the sun. You can't make the sun come faster. You can't slow down the moon. That's all about patience, guys. That it's all one day at a time, one minute at a time. And through that time, you need to try to do something and be useful as a human being. So imagine if you just sleep all day and do nothing. These things won't come to you. You won't succeed at making your parents proud, making your teachers proud, making yourself proud making Allah proud, that's not going to happen if you just sleep all day. So hard work in combination with your dreams and your intentions, it all goes together. It's all a one big puzzle that doesn't work if one piece is missing. If you have hard work but you're not patient, you'll get tired at the end of the day. 
If you are patient, but you don't work hard, you just sit under a tree and wait, it's probably not going to happen either. So a combination of many factors are what will ultimately lead you to success in life and what will help you accomplish your dreams. Like Adam and Batan were saying, don't give up on your dreams. Keep going, keep having that dream in your head. And if you don't know what your dream is, then stick to the basics, stick to what your teacher was talking about, what Pachepi was talking about. How can I be a useful human being? How can I be a good child to my parents? How can I be a good classmate? How can I be a good Muslim? How can I be a good member of the human race? So if you don't have a big, big dream of how you can be useful, just think about the little things every day that can be helpful to your friends and your um, the people around you in your life. So stay motivated, always stay motivated. Even if you're not confident yet, you'll get there through hard work and patience. There's always a result at the end, even if it's not what you expect sometimes. Remember there's one um, surprise that comes at the end of hard work. Um, the boys were saying before, and Baroni told me the other week that the, the quote was, um, hard work is not betrayed, like there's always a result, the result is not betrayed by hard work or whatnot. But I honestly believe myself that at the end of hard work, sometimes the result is better than you expected. Sometimes you aim for something and you go beyond that. And that all depends on your hard work. Sometimes you aim for the stars, they say, but you land on the moon. Um, turn that quote the opposite. I grew up with the quote that said, aim for the moon and you'll land upon the stars. Let's flip it upside down. Aim for the stars maybe, but you'll land on the moon. Always know that Allah has bigger dreams for you. Allah's dreams for you, hopes for you, like your parents' dreams for you and hopes for you, are much bigger than yours. Much, much bigger than yours. And your abilities are much, much bigger than you can ever imagine. Have a good week, guys. Thank you for listening.